Number 1. King Cake King Cake is a braided sweet bread shaped into a circle and covered with icing and colored sprinkles, typically green, representing faith, purple for justice, and gold for power. The treat is customarily enjoyed from Three Kings Day, also known as Epiphany on January 6, leading up to Mardi Gras and the start of the Lenten season, when people tend to abstain from such indulgences. Number 2. Death by Gumbo This is not your typical gumbo, which has a thick file stock with seafood and or meat, and a Louisianian holy trinity of vegetables, bell peppers, celery, and onions. Rather, it's a modern and elevated take on the traditional stew by chefs John False and Rick Tramonto. John False is an expert on Louisiana cuisine and the author of several books. Number 3. Beignet Café at Beignet while the crowds in the line of tourists go to Café du Monde, the locals know to head to Café Beignet for this signature New Orleans suite. With three locations across the city, it cuts down the wait time significantly for this pastry donut hybrid dusted with powdered sugar. The French and Acadians brought Beignet to the region in the 18th century. Number 4. Poor Boy. Parkway has been around for over a century, since 1911 to be exact. Legend has it that the name Poor Boy, also referred to as Paboy, comes from the Great Depression era when a sandwich was created to be given free of charge to transit strikers. Folks have been clamoring for Parkway's Poor Boys ever since. Number 5. Bananas Foster. Being an enterprising restaurant owner, Owen Brennan encouraged Paul Blang, his chef, to invent a dish with bananas as the main attraction, in 1951. The dish was named after Richard Foster, the former chairman of the New Orleans Crime Commission and friend of Owen Brennan. In this iconic dish, bananas are flambéed tableside with brown sugar, butter, cinnamon. Number 6. Pimento Cheese. Located on Pimento Cheese Row, the bar is set high for this dish adapted from the owner's family recipe. Allison Richard, chef of Hi Hat Cafe says, the real game changer is grating your own cheese. She adds, fresh garlic and Hellman's mayonnaise, the only kind I use, round it out. Number 7. Leah's Pralines. A family-owned and operated business since 1944, Leah's Pralines uses locally sourced ingredients such as Alabama pecans and Louisiana sugar. Each day their Creole confections are made small batch to ensure freshness and quality. Similar to other local treats, the New Orleans praline has origins that can be traced back to its French heritage. Number 8. Charbroiled Oysters. It's hard to argue with oysters brushed with garlic, butter, herbs, and topped with Parmesan and Romano cheese. Dragos pride themselves on being a part of the immigrant oyster farming legacy in Louisiana for generations. They can serve over 900 dozen charbroiled oysters on a good day. Number 9. Mr. B's Barbecued Shrimp. Mr. B's Bistro has been a French Quarter staple since 1979, blending both Creole and Cajun cuisines. New Orleans barbecued shrimp is not cooked on a grill. Rather, it is sautéed with Worcestershire, lots of butter, garlic, and black pepper. Cindy Brennan, co-owner and managing partner, comes from a family with deep roots in the New Orleans restaurant. Number 10. Muffuletta at Central Grocery. A muffuletta is a round sesame bread from Sicily. Italian immigrants in New Orleans turned it into a beloved sandwich with marinated olive salad, salami, ham, and mortadella on the namesake round muffuletta bread. Central Grocery is an Italian grocery store that dates to 1906 and owner Salvatore Lupo is credited with creating the New Orleans favorite. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.